Hi friends, it's Dana here. The Olympic Games are finally here. And for all us friends who haven't seen them in five years, I thought I would give you a reminder about what they're all about in this book called All About the Olympic Games. So here we go, it's by Marissa Bone. Maybe Boan. <laughs> not sure which. The Olympic Games are the largest international sporting event in the world. Thousands of athletes from over 200 nations compete in a series of sporting events that take place over many days. Every athlete hopes to bring home a gold medal for their country. The Olympic Games were held in Greece at Olympia over 3,000 years ago. These games were held as part of a festival to honor the Greek god Zeus. Zeus was the king of the gods worshipped by ancient Greeks. The first Olympians on record, the first Olympics on record took place in 776 BC. A grand stadium was built in Olympia to host the sporting events. These Olympics took, took place on one day and included a 200 meter race along with other events. Each year, thousands of male athletes traveled to Olympia to compete. Women were not allowed to compete in the sporting events back then. After hundreds of years, the interest in the Olympics started to disappear in Greece. Many people no longer believed in the Greek gods, and for about 1,500 years, there were no Olympics. By the late 1800s, interest in reviving the games began to grow. A wealthy man named Pierre de Coubertin wanted to bring the games back. He believed that sports could help bring peace by uniting all of the world nations around the world. Coubertin gathered representatives from many nations and started the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, in 1894. The first modern Olympic games were held two years later in 1896 in Athens, Greece. Today, the Olympics include the Summer Games and the Winter Games. Each is held in a different country every four years. The IOC chooses which games are played in each Olympics and also selects which city will host the Olympics. It is a great honor for a country to be chosen as the host city for the Olympic Games. The Olympic Games start with a huge opening ceremony that takes place in the Olympic Stadium of the host city. In preparation for the opening ceremony, it starts weeks before in Greece. A torch is lit at Olympia and carried by a series of runners all the way to the host city. The torch is passed hand by hand from one runner to the other. The torch relay ends at the Olympic Stadium of the host nation. When the last torchbearer arrives, he lights a fire in the cauldron, a large bowl at the stadium. This is called the Olympic flame, and it officially marks the start of the games. It will burn in the stadium until the end of the games. Millions of people from around the world tune in on television to watch this incredible ceremony. All the athletes dress in uniforms representing their countries and cultures. The teams enter the stadium in a large procession, a parade of nations. The Greek teams enter first, followed by other teams in alphabetical order. The team is led by athletes holding the flag of their nation for all to see. It is a moment of great pride and honor for the athletes representing their countries. The official Olympic flag is raised at the start of the ceremony. The flag has five linked rings on a white background. The rings are blue, yellow, black, green, and red. The colors of the rings are chosen from the flags of all the nations in the world. The flags of every nation and include at least one of these colors. These rings represent the joining of five major continents in the world. This includes the Americas, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. The Olympic Games are held in the summer and the winter, each with different types of sports for each season. The Summer Olympic Games includes a great variety of sports. The Winter Games are sports that are played on ice or snow. Summer Games? Winter Games?
Here's a list of summer games. My favorite to watch is gymnastics. Winter games, here's a list. I wonder if you can guess which is my favorite. I'll give you a hint, it's on ice. <laughs> At the end of each event, an award ceremony is held. Winners are awarded medals in first, second, and third place. First place winners receive the gold medal. Second place winners receive a silver medal. And third place winners receive a bronze medal. The flags of the winners are displayed while the national anthem of the gold medal winner is played. The closing ceremony of the Olympic Games takes place after all events are over. Like at the opening ceremony, there is a huge procession of athletes through the stadium. The flags of the nations are carried by flag bearers, followed by the athletes who walk together. Finally, the Olympic flame is extinguished and the Olympic flag is lowered, signaling the official end of the Games. All athletes return to their countries and are celebrated at home. Excitement will build as the entire world awaits the next Olympics. It's so close. <laughs> All the athletes follow the Olympic creed. The most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part. Just as the most important thing in life is not the triumph, but the struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. Now, host your own Olympics. I'll have another book about that. You can do this at home. And here is how you can record it. And that, my friends, is the end. Oh, here are some examples of some Olympic games you can do. But I have some other fun ones that I'll come up with when we read a fun Berenstein Bear book at the uh, in the next reading. All right, friends, I hope you had fun here. That is a lot of fun stuff. Oh my gosh, design your own Olympic medal. This book is on Amazon, so you can go and get it out on Amazon. It is free for those who subscribe to Kindle Unlimited. And there we go. I hope you had fun reading all about the Olympics, and I hope you enjoy the Olympic Games. Okay, friends, have a great one. Thanks for reading with me. Bye-bye.